So if you're watching this video, you probably want to have a better understanding of your documents and you want to understand what's the hierarchy of the documents. So I'm going to give you not just the hierarchy of the documents, I'm going to give you an explanation of what each set has within them, but make sure you stay to the end because there's one set of laws that actually trumps your documents. So let's talk about what's included in your association documents. So first you'll have the declaration of covenants, conditions, and restrictions. Then you'll have the articles of incorporation, the bylaws, and lastly, you'll have the rules and regulations. The way I want you to look at it um, when it comes to the hierarchy is imagine a funnel. At the top is the CCNRs, articles of incorporation, bylaws, and then rules and regulations. So make sure you stay till the end of the video because I'm gonna talk about something that actually trumps all of your documents. So what's inside of your declaration, covenants and conditions or CCNRs? So think of your CCNRs as what you can and can't do within your property. So can you have a pet? It's a simple one. Can I paint my home a certain color? Can I install windows What do, or roofs? What kind of roofs can I install? So many times that's where you're gonna find the information that you're looking for of what you can and can't do within your property. Next is the articles of incorporation. So what's in the articles of incorporation? The way I want you to think of the articles of incorporation, it's like the birth certificate of the association. When was it established? what was the time frame? It makes it an actual legal entity. Next is the bylaws. So many times the bylaws do get confused as I stated in a previous video of, you can find all that information in the bylaws. But the way I want you to think of the bylaws, it's more of a how-to guide. So how does the association create a quorum? How many board members are allowed to be on the board? How is an election conducted? So this is where you're gonna find in the bylaws the how-to guide for your association. Next is the rules and regulations. So the rules and regulations are just gonna be a little bit more detailed into what's permitted within your declaration of covenants. And sometimes they'll have additional rules that are not covered within your covenants. So let's say your declaration permits pets. What your rules and regulations would do is the board of directors will say, okay, we allow pets, but the maximum weight is 30 pounds as an example. So within the rules, you'll find a, a clear definition of what's within your covenants. So as I mentioned earlier, there's a hierarchy to the association documents and why does that exist? Well, it mainly exists because sometimes there could be conflicts within the documents. As an example, within your declaration, it may state, as I said earlier, that per pets are permitted. But within the rules and regulations, for some reason, a board decided to, pets are not permitted within your community association. The reality is that if your documents, or I should say your CCNRs, permit pets, they cannot create a rule that says pets are not permitted within your association. Now there's one important thing that trumps all of your documents, and that has to do with state and federal law. As an example of that, in some instances, we've seen documents that they have disc discriminatory language within them. Well, they pass a state law that states that if that's within your documents and you haven't amended that language, state law does trump that. So it's always important when you're making any changes to your association documents or you're reviewing your documents that you're working with your association attorney first and you're understanding that there is a hierarchy to your association's documents. So you wanna make sure that you have no conflicts whenever you're making any changes or any amendments to your association documents. If you're considering making any changes or if you need additional information when it comes to the documents and what's inside of each one of them, please reach out to us. You can reach us by going to our website, managedbyaffinity.com. I also ask you to subscribe to our YouTube channel we have 80% of our listeners or our viewers that are not subscribed to our channel. I would greatly appreciate if you smash that subscribe button. I'm looking forward to seeing you in our next video.